my frugal friends, it has been an interesting month. In terms of going out and doing shopping, I haven't been out hardly at all. Chris has been having to do all of the shopping. Tilly. She's having a moan. Anyway, as I was saying, Chris has been out and done all of the shopping for me. The most recent shop I actually got out to do was um, my food warehouse shop, which I made a video of. So if you haven't seen that, take a look. Hopefully this Saturday is going to be my first time out shopping with Chris, with my dad. So we will see how it goes. I know it's going to start to get a lot busier. <clears throat> Don't normally like shopping on Saturdays, but Chris is still doing most of the driving because of my dodgy leg. Anyway. Shall we see how we got on this month? We did do some oleo hauls, which is quite good. So we are still topped up on our bread, but how much did we spend? Let's have a look. So Chris has done the first biggest shop of the month for November. Just getting in the things that we need. We're still working through our uh, freezer and things like that because we're hoping to do a big freezer shop um sometime this month if i can actually walk around the shops fingers crossed and so let me tell you what we've got chris has got some crisps now if you saw last month he did buy crisps but he accidentally picked up walkers which no they're nice but they're far too expensive he wasn't sure if we had any lemonade and it wasn't on the list but he grabbed it anyway he also grabbed a couple of packets of minestrone we did buy a lot of soup when we did our big asda haul um if you've not seen that video i will put a link down below um but they didn't have any minestrone so he's got some that we've got some more cathedral city cheese which is really quite nice a couple of the vegan um sandwich things some peppers because we are completely out some soy sauce because we are out some mushrooms because mushrooms are life he's got himself some rocky roads and because i have been pretty much in bed for the past two weeks which is great fun i'll tell you i've got some little treats these are little vegan um chucky bars don't get these very often because they are not cheap let me just have a look on yep they are 90p each he can get that for 90p i get that for 90p ridiculous i know but anyway in total this shop has cost us 22 pounds and 94 pence chris has been out and collected a oleo haul for me we are continuing our no bread spend let's see what we've got so we have got some finger rolls we have got one two three finger rolls and we have also got some hot dog rolls i just find the finger rolls and hot dog rolls are so very very similar however so we've got three of each but if you ever have a soup or a cup of soup or something like that these are just so soft and squidgy that they are the perfect thing to have with a soup we have also got a, a warby's home meal great for chris's lunches and a warburton's white which is great for toast Chris has been having um, toast for breakfast lately, which has been great because, as you know, I've mentioned before, our milk prices for his lactose-free milk have gone up. So if he has toast in the morning instead of a bowl of cereal, that makes a massive, massive difference because I've got to admit, he does like to, you know, his proportion of cereal to milk is mostly milk to cereal. So it does save a massive amount of milk. So if he can have bread instead, that's fantastic. Quick top up shop because we're still eating out of the fridge and the freezers. Um, we have just got the mushrooms, the peppers, some of these Rocky biscuits, which Chris has said are the cheaper ones. Even though they're a big brand name, Foxes, he's looked at other ones that are Tesco's brand and these are cheaper. Corn for his sandwiches some more cheese and some minestrone soups and there's a couple of milks in the fridge for him as well and that came to 19 pound five add it to the total in that corner and we are done 
It's Saturday night. Chris has just been out to do a Olio collection for me. Um, so this is all great stuff. So we have got some rocket. We've got a couple of veggie lasagnas. We've got some sprouts. We've got some spinach. We've got some lettuce that'll go on Chris's sandwiches next week. Avocados. These are not even ripe yet, so they're fabulous. A couple of packs of chilies, which I'll chop up and freeze. Salad. So we're having lasagna and salad for tea tomorrow night. And we've got some kale. I can just chuck that straight into the freezer. Some cauliflower, carrot and broccoli, just to throw again in the freezer. We got some of this salami, which is a vegan salami, which we can use up within the next few days. And again, ole oh, sand cream as well and chive dip. Brilliant. Oleo, fantastic. Use it if you have access to it. This has cost us nothing. And this is going to keep us fed. Brilliant. Oleo haul on Tuesday. We are continuing our mission of not buying bread ever. We have some half and half, some Warburton's wholemeal. We have a large wholemeal. Those will be for toast and Chris's sandwiches. We have some lettuce that we are going to use for Chris's sandwiches. We have some apples that are going to go with Chris's lunch. We have tea cakes, which are nice for breakfast. Also, will go great in the freezer. Mushrooms, because mushrooms get used in everything in this house. And if you have too many mushrooms, all I will do is I will slice them, put them on a tray, freeze them, and then bag them up. Chris has just got back from doing the last main shop of this month. Um, we did do a shop a couple of days ago at um, the Iceland Food Warehouse. But I'm doing a separate video for that one. So take that one will come out before this one, I think. Yes. So take, anyway, have a look out for that one. And I'll link it below if I've, I've already put it up. Anyway, so we have got more milk because I haven't been using loads for ages. I bought an eight pack. So I think I've still got about three upstairs. So we've bought some of those. Bought some caster sugar because we have run out. A couple of cup of soups. Some sandwich stuff for Chris. Cheese for me. And a word search. Because I've got quite into doing word searches lately. Instead of being on my phone last thing at night, which I know because probably quite a few of us who do that, do a word search, do something different. It actually has been quite helpful in helping me fall asleep. So that total for this shop was £20. Prices are just getting ridiculous, aren't they? But, you know, keep ploughing through. We'll add that to the total and we'll see where we're up to at the end of the month. I started editing this video and I was looking at how well we did with those oleo hauls. We did so, so well, especially that one with the um, lasagnas in. So we did have the lasagnas and salad for tea um, the next day and they were pretty good. And the kale was lovely and I made a kale pasta with lemon butter sauce. Really tasty. The spinach, excuse me, the spinach and rocket, I just wilted down like you would do with spinach, but I put the rocket in as well. So I wilted it down, squoze it out, made it into little balls about sort of like so big, and then put them on a tray in the freezer. So if I need spinach for anything, I can literally just grab one of those out of the freezer and just chuck it in um, whatever I'm making. So that saved that. So Chris only did three main shops this month. So we were a bit limited on how much we actually spent. So all in all, including the Iceland one, we spent £62.49. Now, normally we spend a bit more, but if you've watched my previous food haul videos, you will know that I am a terror for nipping down to my local shop and scoping out the yellow sticker stuff. So I do end up normally adding to the budget by throwing a load of yellow sticker stuff in there as well but we've not been doing that. But hopefully in December, I can get back at that and we can find lots of nice yellow sticker bargains to add to the freezer. Let me know in the comments below how well you think we did. December obviously will be a bit different because we have the Christmas food stuff to come into it as well. We try and just not go over the top. I know it's tempting to do, especially if you're off for the full Christmas period, to do Christmas food for the full nearly 10 days that you might have um, time off on because I know Christmas is a weekend this year so it'll be a long one. Um, Chris what still works so it makes no difference so we tend to just focus on the main Christmas days and so we try not to go too mad 
Remember, it's a roast dinner with a few extra bits. Don't go crazy out there. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, um, do you go mad in December? Does your shopping bill go absolutely crazy? Um, I will make a December video. I will show you everything that we get and you can have a look at that at the end of next month. Thank you for watching. Please do the liking and the subscribing. I really appreciate all of you that do and I will see you next time.